Okay, got the camera set up over there. You know, hi everybody. Since making my video just to show you how to do a one-bladed prop, evolved into my Hyperfly, and now my Blade 400. We're gonna give this a little test right here. I pulled out the old blade. I thought this would be kind of fun to get this out again and look at it. I have, now listen, if somebody else has tried this, I haven't seen anything, heard anything, never saw anything about it. So I did this all on my own. Uh, but if you have, kudos to you. And uh, I'm experimenting a lot and I'm having a lot of fun and I hope you're all having fun watching it too. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and set this over here on the ground, doing it in the garage because, let me tell you something, look here. weather is bad. Let's go ahead and try it in here. And uh, what I've done is I've mounted a counterweight here, which uh, actually consists of a metric socket. <laughs> and, uh, and it balances pretty good, so. One rotor. <laughs> okay, folks. Well, it's cold. It's uh, 12 uh, 30 at night. We're gonna go into the end of the gym here and try out my one bladed. My one bladed uh, blade 400. So uh, let's go try it. Well, there's plenty of speculation and the theorists. Now, I've talked to several of my uh, physics friends, and they told me as long as it is counterbalanced, you can twist it as much as you want. So that's actually how it works. And you know, with the one blade, you don't get that beat, 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 beat sound, it's smoother. Say what you want. It's just what I'm finding from my own experience, not by just speculation. I'm trying stuff.
No doubt, this is just fine. This is as smooth as this helicopter has ever flown. I'm not kidding you. can talk about the bearings and the pressure, but I think it's smoother. You can tell. Ah, <laughs> uh, what can I say? Uh, hard to argue with success. Holy cow, it sure worked better than I thought it would.